Welcome to Bridgeside Network. I'm Mr. Bridgeside, and this is Cooking in Brooklyn with Danny Milano. Danny Milano, take it away. This is Cooking in Brooklyn with Danny Milano, and I'm Danny Milano. And today, I'm not cooking, and I'm not coaching, because today <laughs> we have Fallon Reynolds in the kitchen. Well, not really Woo! in the kitchen, but coaching. <laughs> in the virtual kitchen. Yeah. And we got Dave on the chat, Mr. Casanova on the chat, and Fallon up, is a, f uh, uh, a longtime fan, a longtime friend of these fellas and myself. You guys a lot longer than me, but Fallon, <laughs> you've been and watching a, from and afar. A much better cook than I am. Yeah, she's been watching from afar, kind of critiquing us as we go. <laughs> these two nods over here. And we finally got her on. And <laughs> <laughs> the gang that can't shoot straight. <laughs> oh, I shut the uh, the oven off already. Um, and Fallon, Fallon, this is what what are we cooking today? We're making Jenny's version of chicken Rockefeller. Okay, so Danny, this is something we did already, right? Uh, yeah, we did a chicken Rockefeller. We did it a little bit differently, but I'm uh, I'm intrigued. Yeah, I can't wait to see the way Fallon's gonna tell us to make it. So as you guys know, there's recipes for everything. Secret recipes. For the same dish, Fallon, why don't you take us through these ingredients and I'll hold them up to the camera. All right, or, so you've got your chicken cutlets. No. <laughs> Here we go again. We've got butter. What did we say? Butter. <laughs> spinach. We got some baby spinach. Fresh here. garlic. We chopped that up already. Yep. Some salt. We like a lot, right, Fallon? Yeah, we like a lot of garlic. You're partially Greek over here. <laughs> no, I'm, hey, I'm partially Italian over here. <laughs> it's both. Paul, All right. Your, uh, Parmesan cheese, your salt and pepper, your oil. And we're missing the fresh mozzarella, Paul. Well, where is it? Oh, we're oh the best God. part over here. I thought you were prepared for this. I was so prepared. Oh. Did you buy it? <laughs> Perfect. Oh, no, we got it. Cut it up with kid. That's no. right. I'm going to cut it up live for you, Dave. Oh, uh, that's great. Yeah, you got to get that beauty shot, right, Dave? Like torture. All I right, mean, what else we got here? All right, looks like you've got everything out. The only thing that stinks is that uh, usually when Danny's caught up the fresh mozzarella, you know, it always slips me a piece. Unfortunately, <laughs> I can't enjoy it this time. <laughs> is there a mozzarella emoji? There should be. There should be, right? <laughs> there should be a mozzarella emoji. All right, here we go, Fallon. We preheated our oven to... 350. 350. 350. It just got there. All so right. Just leave it right there. Blah. Here you go. All right. All so right. you're going to start with your eggs, Paul. You're okay. going to crack those two eggs into the bowl and scramble them up. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at, <laughs> I'm just happy Fallon's here with us right now. <laughs> Me too. All right. I know how she is in the kitchen. You better be careful. So what are the biggest differences in the way you guys cook this? Well, Danny uses bacon. I don't use bacon. All right. Yeah, I, I use bacon for mine. And I, I made like, uh, I don't know, if, I don't remember. Yep, so if I used it with cherry wine or if I used Marsala wine. You use Marsala wine. I don't use that. Was it Marsala? Actually, yeah. we might have, we might have used sherry wine, but <laughs> we oh, used it as Marsala. Because <laughs> we were all out. <laughs> all right. All right, that's good. Now you got to season your flour. We're going to season it with some salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Nice. Salt, I like pepper, that. and garlic yeah, powder. I didn't do that either. It's good all right. Just throw this all in. Not uh, all like half of it. What? Oh, you have flour in there. See, it's, it's a little hard to see. Now you can see it when you put in the seasoning. All right. Know. All right, and salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. I'm gonna have to do this like this. Don't get nervous, Paul. <laughs> I'm not nervous. I'm in my own house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm home, baby. I'm not putting fires. I'm not setting fires today. Anybody tell you, Paul? You could be a you can be a hand model. 
Oh yeah. You got very nice hands, yeah. I, I got did. rough hands, man. I'm a drummer. I, I got callus. I did like your uh, Vanna White impressions before while you introduced all <laughs> the ingredients. Yeah, Paul. Can I uh, can I buy a vowel? <laughs> very nice. Paul, you can move the grated cheese and the garlic to the back. You don't need that yet, so you'll have more space. Get these momos out of the way. All right. Try, try mix this up or it's the... You can mix up the flour. With my hands? You could use your hands. Just toss it around to get the seasonings incorporated. All right. Get those hands dirty. All right. Feels, feels nice. Now make sure you wipe that flour on your shirt. Yes. <laughs> It was a goal of mine not to <laughs> today, and I got a little. Oh, and so speaking now of which, in the pan that you're gonna oh, do the chicken in. Real quick, speaking of my shirt, this Cooking Brooklyn shirt, you can go to gobirdside.com and find the Cooking in Brooklyn tab. That's about it. There you go. <laughs> so your pan for your chicken. Yes. You're gonna want to put a little bit of cooking oil in there. Okay. Not a lot, just enough oh, to kind of coat the Do I, do the I pan. put the flame on or no? Don't put the flame on yet. Okay. A little bit? A little more. You want to coat the whole pan. Yeah. Okay. And now you're going to put like a tablespoon of butter in there. So like a tablespoon-sized chunk. A nice chunk. Like. Perfect. Ha. Huh. Okay. All right, turn your flame on and let that butter melt into a uh, the mush. Put it on like a medium high flame. Okay. All right. Now you're going to while that's melting, you're going to take your chicken and throw it into the bowl with the eggs. Okay. <laughs> well, it doesn't got to be perfect, Paul. Just do it. Just put them in the egg? Don't yeah, put them in the egg. Yes. Just drop them in and leave them or drop start dipping in. them? Drop them all, all in. Right. If they'll all right, sweet. Now, you think this is easy? <laughs> now get rid of that pan, the plate with the chicken. Get it out of your way. We don't want to see it in the shop. All right. Create a little more room for you. Danny, uh, JJ, and Eric's, uh, how's work going? We'll do, this. we'll do this. We'll do this. Perfect. One day at a time. All right. We'll swirl that yesterday. pan around to get the butter incorporated with the oil. Incorporate oh, that butter, Paul. Incorporate it. Perfect. I can drink that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, David Casanova. Uh, so I've been cleaning off. I've been cleaning off. Do I have a second or I, I don't have a second? This is going to burn. Yeah, no, no you don't want it to. Turn. Let me let me know when I got a second to tell a quick little story. All right, after you get it in the pan, take your chicken and coat it in your flour. Paul okay. likes taking it in the pan. <laughs> That's right. terrible. And then plop it in your pan. Should I do wait? Do more one at a time, or should you I just do two at a time? You have enough room yeah. in the plate. There, there you go. go. I got a bigger pan than when we pre-show. I asked hey, Mama for a pan. Hey. See, Danny, I get the bigger pans, not you. I know. <laughs> this is non-stick, though. She said you won't get the grill mark, though. It's all right. All right. I am Sam Kelly. As, uh, well, Mom asks if, if we miss the fire. I was like, hopefully no fires. <laughs> so good. Hopefully no fires today, Sam. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm here. I'm, I'm, the, I'm the fire guard. I'm the fire watch. I got my F-60 now. We got our union guy on site. Do you have a fire extinguisher pool in that kitchen? Yeah. It's under the sink. Shouldn't be under the sink. It should be hanging up. It should be <laughs> in my back pocket. When was the last time it was inspected, Paul? Is that a class K? You know, guys, let's talk about this after the show, right? <laughs> All right, Paul, you can move that flour and egg out of the way, and you've got your minute to tell your little story why that's browning. Oh, man. I got mushy fingers right here. Hold on. All right, Dave. So, so last night I was clearing off my computer from the last three years of files. Okay. And I found just a, a screenshot of a quote you said that I always wanted to use for something. I forgot all about it. 
but uh, it just made me crack up again in the middle of the night. Dave, I never understood the term fun size for snacks. Fun size for me would be three feet long. <laughs> <laughs> fun size, what's this fun size? <laughs> Oh, I think that was around Halloween when you had all those like <laughs> tiny candies and like yeah, you're like what what is, I don't get the fun size. Why is it fun? It's not fun when it's smaller. It's fun when it's way bigger. <laughs> you know what, Dave? You got a good point, pal. All right, check that chicken, Paul. See how it's browning. Don't flip it. Yeah, the, peak. the edges are are getting there. All right, lower the flame a little bit. Okay. And slice your mozzarella. <sighs> good time. Can I just put it, take it out of this bowl here? Take it right out of the bowl, put it on your cutting board, slice a couple of slices. A couple slices, long ways? Or? Alexandra. I can't see what you're doing. Like this that, one? yeah. Like that. Paul. Like that. Yeah. Can I eat the butt? You could eat the butt. All right. Yeah, sneak one in your mouth. Put the butt in your mouth, Paul. That's the best part. I love the butt. This knife sucks. <laughs> We don't need that many. We only need one per, right? Yep. Or two per. Depending on how big the chicken is, you could do like one and a half each. All right. I'll save the rest. Keep an eye on your chicken, Paul. No, I'm waiting for fire. <laughs> That's good. Check your chicken. Paul, oh, where'd you go Check get the your chicken? Salad? Brooklyn Market. Nice. How does it look? Is it browning? Yeah, a little bit. It's getting that little golden crisp. All right. You see? Well, you can't see from there. Oh, no. it's time! It's time to tilt the shot up, everyone. Boom! <laughs> Dave's favorite part of the show. Got to focus, Paul. Yeah, I'm. I'm focusing on the delay over here. Well, there you go. There we go. There you go. It's beautiful. And you didn't even make that much of a mess. I'm proud of you. No, I'm getting better, guys. All right, I think it's starting to get there. All right, flip them. Flip them. It's time to flip them, baby. All right, All right. All right. now while it's browning on that side, turn the flame on on the other pan. To medium low. Yeah, you see, Paul, it's not that easy. Right? <laughs> you you always all I'm going to say is, Dan, I cooked the gnocchi again. And guess what? The strainer, I'm two for two with the strainer. All right. <laughs> all right. Now that stick of butter that you already cut into. Yeah. Throw that whole bad boy in the pot. In, in the. In the orange in the, pan. One whole stick. Oh. Well, it's not a whole stick. We used a little yeah, bit of carrot. Oh, three quarters. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. All right. There we go. All right. You're going to let that start to melt down. Oh, yeah. You have oh, your yeah. tray out for the chicken? That tray? Yeah. Oh, the one I put in the sink and got all dirty already? No, isn't that it next to the orange pan? Oh, oh thought, yeah, yeah. You thought about the cooking Sorry. tray, Paul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got it. All right, because you're going to need that in a minute. Raise that heat on the butter a little bit so it melts. You know what you could do, Paul? Kind of like use your fork and break up the butter a little bit. It'll melt faster. I thought you'd never ask. got to lick the fork too when you're done. Make sure the butter's good. Now take the garlic. And throw That's it right into that. <laughs> and uh, with the butter? Yep. Wow. Them Greeks and Italians are very similar cultures. That's why I'm very proud to be both. Check your chicken, babe. Perfect. Take it out and put it on the tray. Okay. Pick it up for fire first. I have the, yeah. the world's largest, largest tray for four pieces of chicken. That's okay. <laughs> I got a new tray. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and it came in a little bent All from right. Amazon. Shut that flame off and get rid of that pot. 
Remember when you couldn't find the last one? It was in the oven the whole time? Well. Oh, yeah. Oh, should I be putting this on? Alright. How do I get Alright. Alright. Can, now, I, can I swap this? Can I bring this over here? On. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. we get a better shot. You're getting, the, you're getting this TV magic, huh? <laughs> What's up, everybody on the stream? All right. Three feet ain't that fun, Dave. Trust me. Salt and pepper and seasoned okay. garlic. That's good. It. All right. Take your spoon and kind of saute that around a little bit. For me, that's a meal right there with a little bit of bread. Mix it up. All right. Now you're going to take all that spinach and throw it right in there. Do not. You don't like a wooden spoon. You're going to scrape the whole thing. <laughs> the whole thing. Whole damn thing. That's yeah, going to work out. Listen to Danny. You need a wooden spoon for it. You don't want to scratch up the pan. Yeah. Stir that and around a little spoon. bit. It's a metal spoon. I a wooden spoon, it. Paul. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I got a wooden spoon. There you go. The spoon they used to get beat with as a kid. <laughs> All right, lower uh, the. I should have wore that shirt. Yeah, beat enough. That's his problem. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say, well, Phil? Can you zoom in? How's the butter looking there? Is there butter on the bottom? Is it juicy? Uh, it's getting to be sizzly now. Okay, lower the flame. Add like two more tabs of butter to it. Right. See, we made we made spinach the other day. That looks like a nice amount, I thought. That's gonna whittle down that. Down to nothing. To nothing. How much? That more? plus one more like that. I was surprised. I thought we were gonna have a nice side dish. Then I looked at the pan, there was like a serving for like a half a person. All right, crazy. now you want to take your mozzarella and put it on top of your chicken and get that in the oven so it melts. Okay. Oh, we almost done with this, huh? Yeah. Wow. So it's nice. Wow. Fast and easy right. and delicious. Um, all right. So you see, Thal, that's also, I guess, what I did is I, um, I put the spinach on first and then I, I layered the mozzarella on top. Yeah, so you're, you put you're the putting the spinach on top of of the mozzarella, right? My right. spinach never goes into the oven. Got you. The chicken's uh, gonna go in if Paul ever puts the mozzarella on it. It'll go into. <laughs> <the oven. laughs> Should I put one and a half? You said. Oh, this. No, one's... you only need one. Those are huge pieces of mozzarella. The you massive. gotta. You gotta you forgive, really a piece you of chicken. Paul Fallon. That's like two That's inch like thick that. pieces of mozzarella. <laughs> no good. No, you it's took a good. Good. So Should I cut them thinner? No, it's fine. Just that get it just in I love my hey, cheese, Falm. I want to break this up. When he was a kid, so. <laughs> Put that funny. in the oven. All right. What do you have? I don't know. Oven time? Oven time. I don't know. Those two pieces of chicken in the middle, they're not social distancing. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And I'll pull, give us a better shot, Paul, because we don't want to look at the, the beautiful countertops. What's that? Is that Ronzoni? What are you <laughs> All right, let me see that spinach. <laughs> Stir it around a little bit. I don't know. I'm a gorilla guy. I'm a gorilla guy. It, it's when you got your own uh, Ronzoni. More butter. More butter? More butter. It's got a lot of butter in it. That right. butter's gonna soak hey, up and put cheese on it. Don't talk back to oh. coach. She tells you to put butter on there. You put butter on there. That's <laughs> nice. All right. All right, Paul. You gonna put butter in there or what? No. <laughs> there there you go. To see the butter. Cover there it. Go. I got. I gotta clean my lenses over here. I got butter all over them. <laughs> It's actually really bad for the camera. <laughs> All right, put that flame on the wall and cover it. All right. Sarah it's says, butter it up. Right. You go, girl. 
Dave, what's going on in the chat room? I can't read it. I don't have my glasses on. I have a few comments here. Um, hey. What's up, people? <laughs> All right, this is a good time to uh, show a clip of that episode. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> I'm cleaning off my buttery, buttery lens right here which, so the gears don't get all screwed up. All right, so, Dan, why don't you preface? This is just a quick little clip here. Yeah? You want, you want me to prep you on the way, what, what I did? I mean, you know, just this is all our... Right. Uh, well, I made it with bacon, right? So we cooked the bacon first, and then I think... You said I used Marsala wine. I wasn't sure if I used Marsala or Sherry in the episode. So I think it was Marsala. I made a little Marsala sauce. I threw the chicken in. I did the same thing. I floured. I didn't egg it, though. And then I threw it in the sauce, let it cook there for a little bit. And then I added the spinach, the bacon, and the mozzarella. And we put it in the oven until it melted. Yes. Nice. Put the spinach on first. You guys hear that? You hear the episode? Not really. Nah. It's all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I had to restrain myself because you guys are yelling at me not to yeah. touch the bacon. Well, because you're a little dangerous around food, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> I think, Dave, yeah, I remember there was an extra piece to you, right? Yeah. yeah. So he saw, I struck gold like a Rockefeller. <laughs> <laughs> that was your best ad lib ever, Dave, by the way. Yeah, yeah. I was very proud of you in that moment. I was proud of Danny for giving me that slice of bacon. <laughs> Some mozzarella. It's time to throw it into this the good stuff. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Kenneth Porcelli says it's always better with butter. So he has the same ethos so as me. Uh, Kelly Casanova said this is the highlight of our Sundays. We're watching it from four different devices. Awesome. Thank you for those four views <laughs> simultaneously. <laughs> Alexandra says hi, Fallon Reynolds. Hi, Alex. That's tip number two I gave you. See, I know I remember every every line. Yeah. Wow, Paul. It's a good producer. You're wow, Paul. Right. So that's what I did. Yeah, There's gonna be a hunk of cheese on this oh, one. I, I, just did right I literally licked the pan for this one. That was so good, Danny. You're bringing back memories, man. It's delicious. And there's the patented hey, David, pull. the cheese pull. That's like an obscure sport for Dave, cheese pulling. Oh my God. That right. song is amazing. Just like that, that amazing. Chicken All right, we're getting ready for our next beauty shot here. All right, Paul, All right. how's the chicken look? Is the mozzarella melting? With two inch thick mozzarella, it's going to take like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Oh, yeah, it's melting, but it definitely does look a little thick, you know? I didn't use fresh mozzarella on when I made it. I, prefer, I think you did for this one, Dan. No, you use you use fresh mozzarella. I just I use the other one because I think the it, it melts better for me. I, I don't know. No, I, I think for this one you use fresh one, uh, fresh mozzarella. Normally you don't. I had? Did I? Yeah, I think so. No, I didn't. No, Danny never uses fresh no. mozzarella when it's melting. No, it. I didn't because I'm telling you because I like I like it the way uh, it melts better when you get like the ones from the package. All right. Alan, uh, let me hey, ask you a question. Have huh? I'm sorry. Go ahead, Dave. Well, I'm going to ask you a question because I'm probably going to make this dish very soon. What's a okay. good like? Uh, what's a good side to, to eat with it? What do you recommend? I made it with basmati rice. Okay. Whoa. What's that? <laughs> type of white rice. Okay. It's just got a little bit. White rice is kind of plain, doesn't have any flavor it's on it. It's a bougie it's white basmati rice. Basmati does. Bougie. Pinky's up. Yes, it's it's bougie rice. Right. Let Any me see this bowl. Can you take huh? the cover off? Can I? Please. Perfect. And how are we doing with the chicken? I think it needs a little bit. It's got a. It, it is thick mozzarella there. Let me <laughs> pull it out so I can see it. <laughs> Not burning myself today. Kevin Porcelli no. says, I'm the only person in quarantine losing weight. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jacob Jacob Miller said, said he said, so pro. Mm. Sarah said, Sarah said she's definitely making it for dinner. Needs a little longer. Needs a little longer because the mozzarella was so thick. 
Rob D says the price is rice. But it's getting there. I see it on the edges. Another couple of minutes. These, fell These guys are sliding around. Oh, Jennifer Morgan, right. last time I made this was in a sandwich. That's a good idea. Well, okay, I'm Jennifer ready. Morgan is the originator of this recipe. She's the one who gave it to me. Nice. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna get prepared for the uh, the beauty here. Yeah, you could clean up. The only thing left that you need is the Parmesan cheese. Everything else can be put aside. Get the f out. Yep. Oh man. I guess I guess my niece is upset. Uh, my sister commented that Sophia said it's not fair that when she lived with here, I only made her cereal. So now I owe her a meal. <laughs> Sophia. <laughs> That sounds about right. Well, it took a quarantine to get Dave to cook, so now he knows. <laughs> you're cook, so maybe, uh, maybe when this is all over, you'll cook for Sophia, Dave. I will, I, and I owe my mom a meal too. I think you need to cook for Dave. all of us, Dave. I think I've made you enough yeah, meals that it's your turn. When this is all over, you're gonna have to come cook on, you know, for the show. <laughs> I'm down. I just, my problem is, like, I, I could cook, I just don't, like, for the amount of people, I don't know how many ingredients I gotta use, so that's a learning curve. I'm learning, I'm learning. Here. I'm learning. When we asked Danny for the amount of ingredients amount in the recipe, Danny can never give us a, a, a precise number. Because I don't do measurements, I don't, baby. I, do I, know, I, I know, I know. I know, I know. I'm all about the eye. And then I I'm get yelled at I don't want to give everybody the time that I cook for 100 people. Yeah, wait, I'm Dan, you dinner for two, but I could feed 30. <laughs> That's true, Val. You always cook it up, Val. But then, you, uh, let me ask you a question. You said you always eye it, but you're blind. How do you see? Shut <laughs> up. You don't like the way you glance, Rusty. <laughs> All right, we're getting. I don't there. like seeing people. How's your battery? Oh, low. Uh, what is yeah, I, I think it's. Uh, Let's plug into oh, it. Shit. It's about almost there. All right. About there. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready for this one. Oh boy! I am Sam Kelly says always make more, so then you'll have more for yourself later on. It's true. Except that I live downstairs from my parents, and I feel bad not giving them a taste, and I gotta share. I cook dinner for me and Phil. We both eat. We give to his friend that lives upstairs. We both take for lunch the next day, and I still have leftovers. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Nice. Wait, All right, so I wish I could look this. <laughs> All right, let's eat that chicken. Perfect. Oh, there you go. So now put it on whatever plate you're serving it with. Uh, can I stop sauteing this? You're gonna uh, shut that off, take the cover off, and throw in a handful of Parmesan cheese. Oh my god! Be generous. A handful or just this whole thing? Uh, no, no. no not, not the whole, the whole thing. thing. Not the whole thing. It's too much. More. That's, right, it. that's good. Stir it. <laughs> Fallon. Uh, yeah. Will Sweeney says, I benefit greatly from Fallon's culinary, culinary skills. He ah. does. I bring him plates Buttered my shirt. all the time. All right. Perfect. So now you're going to put your chicken on your plate and then scoop some of that spinach and butter on top. Yeah. Fal, is that the kid that, that's in the podcast with Phil? Uh, the, the one we did when I was trying to guess the songs? Yes. Yeah, that's him? Oh, he's that's funny. Well. He's funny. All right. Michelle says, looks delicious as whenever Fallon cooks. <laughs> Thanks, Michelle. I miss you. Susan said to bring her, bring me some leftovers. <laughs> And uh, Sarah was commenting on that pickle, how it looks so good. Nice. I don't know about that presentation, though. Let me tell you. I, I, I need some symmetry in that plate. It's all right. All leave right. me alone. Time for... Yeah, that would kill all me. Right. The money shop. Pour the spinach <laughs> over it. <laughs> uh, this is my favorite part of the show. I know. I it's everybody's favorite part of the show. <laughs> not mine, not anymore. Yeah. Too far. 
Yeah, because you can't eat it. My mouth is watering over here. I got to make sure I'm in the best focus for this money shot here. Okay. <laughs> uh. All right, here we go. We got everybody waiting, all right? Just press it. All right. Should I do individually or just in the center? The what do you think? Do put on each individual. Hey, Marie Castanova says, "Are you and Fallon trying to take Danny's cooking cooking in Brooklyn show?" <laughs> Never. That's well, right. I'm passing the. You door. know what, everybody? I'm going to be working now, so I'm going to need you, Fal. <laughs> that looks delicious. Quarantine is over for me. A lot of overtime too, because they're all backed up on the contracts. That looks delicious. It smells delicious. <laughs> it's the garlic. It is the yeah, garlic. I can see that garlic. <laughs> oh boy! Oof! I'm losing my breath just looking at it. Take my breath away. It did well, Paul. All right, what do you, what do you, what do you think, Sam? You did, oh. did good. You got to give me a, we got to grade me now. Why? You did very good this week. You didn't burn anything yeah. down. You didn't burn yourself. No, he was well prepared, and he was well prepared. Except okay. the mozzarella wasn't out, but we had That's it. all right. Perfect. I'm getting, all my, getting the way I'm holding this dish wrong. There we go. <laughs> there you go. It's opposite. All right. Let's nice. play. It's manja time. Whew. It's the best time of the day. <laughs> and guys, this was Fallon's recipe. Send us your recipes, because like Danny said, he's got to work. So I still want to keep doing this. It's been fun. We'll still keep doing this. So send us your recipes. Maybe we'll get you on the show, just like Fallon. You show me how to not be an idiot in the kitchen. <laughs> Oh, which piece do I go after first? This is a Dave Casanova struggle right here. You're out of focus, <laughs> babe. What's the first? You didn't get you. No. She said first. you're out of focus. David, wow, this is for you. Watch the list. Dave right now is saying, I hope he chokes on that. <laughs> you almost made me choke laughing. Wow. Wow. That is fantastic. <laughs> oh, man. The buttery, garlicky goodness. Butter makes everything better. Oh, my God. This is the quietest part of the show. <laughs> Yeah, because now we got to watch you eat. This isn't fair. Wow. Chicken's perfect. Mozzarella's oh, perfect. Yeah. Oh, I think we lost Dave. He got so upset. <laughs> Dave, lost... Dave, Dave got so upset he had to leave. Dave just said, I'm not had enough of this. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. His internet's having issues. Wow. Foul. Yes. I don't know. I don't want to compare your guys' dishes, but I don't know which one's better, which is saying a lot because I, that chicken Rockefeller was one of my favorite. I'll say this. I'm not missing the bacon, even though that's. A, I thought I'd never say that. Like, it doesn't take away from the dish at all. Yeah. You know, not having the bacon, it's mm -hmm. still fantastic. Wow. I think the extra butter made up for it. <laughs> you I thought I was crazy with all that Honestly. butter. Wow, that was so good. I think we lost Dave. Dave can't stand to watch me eat food anymore since he can't be in the kitchen eating himself. Uh, I'm going to keep eating this off camera. Guys, thanks for watching. If you guys have a recipe you want me to cook, join the show. We'll, we'll cook together. We'll hang out. There he is. Oh, he's right, back. back. Wait. 
Oh, hold on. I got to put you in the stream. You just Sorry, got buddy. mad because you couldn't. Hey, we, thought you, we thought you just got upset. We thought you got upset. <laughs> yeah, they did. So it was I'm actually good. good for the show that you left. It was funny. But anyway, thank you, Dave, for coming back. I don't know. Anybody have any recipes? Send it to us. If you want to check out the Cooking in Brooklyn merch, go to the website. I don't know. Any last thoughts, everybody? Danny? I'm going to eat this for a second. No, I got to go eat now. <laughs> no, you make it, you're making everybody hungry. I'm so hungry. I'll probably yeah. make this uh, during the week. Definitely make it and send me pictures. Thank you for having mm -hmm. me on. Fallon, it was awesome having you guys. Send us pictures no, of when you cook to the at, at Cooking in Brooklyn at Cookin, B K L Y N. And uh, I don't know. This is great. <laughs> this is great. This is awesome. It's, it was awesome having you, Found. Thanks. And, uh, I enjoyed it. The ingredients are in the description. The link to the last episode we did with Chicken Rockefeller is in the description if you haven't seen that fully through. Uh, thank you for joining us. We'll be back next week cooking something. You'll probably find out Saturday or maybe we figure out earlier than that but uh we'd like to figure this one out sooner or later everybody enjoy that day and be safe Shelly yes and, we uh, the ingredients the ingredients are there Shelly Fallon gave me instruction I'm gonna copy and paste that into the descriptions as well go to the YouTube though the YouTube has all the the proper information all right guys Bridgeside Network's YouTube cooking in Brooklyn you guys want to sign off here all right. Yeah, sign off. I can't stand you talking anymore. Please. <laughs> I love you. All Paul. right, guys. Love you, love you guys. See you on the bridge side. Enjoy the rest of that meal. And and please like and subscribe to the channels. See you on the bridge side.